it's Hannah and today I'm going to show you how I achieved this wonderful colour combination on my head. I don't know what I've, called, what I've called it, obviously you're going to know because the name is in the title, but it kind of looks a bit like Ursula. For me, I don't know, it reminds me of Ursula, I suppose because Little Mermaid colours with the purple then it goes to blue and then it's green and she wears a purple bra, she's under the sea and then green tail, but I don't know. The hair is much more green in person than it is on camera. On camera it comes out more foresty, but it's not foresty. I promise. Here's what it looks like from the back. Hopefully my hair isn't too much of a mess. I'm so bad at curling my hair, I'm really sorry. Da -da -da -da. Swoosh, swoosh, yeah. This video is super long, so grab your pot of tea and let's just get on with it, shall we? Okay, so my camera's slightly wonky, but I'm I can't be doing with changing it. We are now going to colour my hair. Jazzy colours, I bleached it yesterday. Yes, I have my bleaching t-shirt back on. This is why you need to use an old t-shirt. Look at the colour, it's gone, how sad. Um, but yeah, we're going for like purple and green and blue. And I cleverly only have two brushes. So, plum, lagoon blue and apple green. I've got my conditioner that I'm mixing with it. Um, I'm going to do it like a gradient effect because that is the colour my hair is at the moment. Um, so I'm going to do purple at the rootage and then blue and then green at the ends because I missed having green in my hair. And plus the purple will cover the pink quite nicely so it shouldn't be an issue. So um, because I do only have two brushes, which is kind of annoying but at the same time perfectly fine, I'm going to do all of the purple first and make sure that all my roots are covered and then go back in and do the blue and the green. So I'm going to start by taking Plum. This is the colour that I used last time I dyed my hair and it's already slightly diluted but I'm going to dilute it a bit more and I'm just going to put the whole pot in because why not? Why not? Sorry if you can hear the cathedral bells. It is 12 o'clock which means they go mental and then they will go mental again in half an hour because we live right near Frankfurt Cathedral and I'm all sneezy and I'm getting a cold and all of this fun stuff. Oh, I've picked up shampoo instead of fucking conditioner. I'm gonna have to go out and buy some. I tried to be organized. I'll be back in half an hour. Okay, I return. I now have conditioner, finally. And now you can hear the bells going mental again because it's 20 past and I think there's a cathedral service on at half past but like they look exactly the same except for where the lid is I suppose I should have known but hey I have some shampoo now because I use that all the time spoiler alert I don't so I'm just gonna mix up this purple till I think I have enough to go on my head and the color is plum so it's a bit darker than violet so I can afford to put a little bit more conditioner in <sighs> I'm not even out of breath it's just because it's cold outside You can't even see. But I'm just going to start putting that on my roots. Maybe I'm just going to open these first. Don't use your teeth to open these. I just have gloves on. I don't want to break a nail. I know I sound like one of those people. And usually I'd mix it all up first, but I only have two brushes, so I can't. I should have checked that before I went to the hair shop, surely, shouldn't I? I'm also going to grab a plastic bag. I have a plastic bag, but I don't know if it's going to be big enough to fit on my head. We might have to think something else up. But hey, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Until then, I'm just going to clear some of this stuff out of the way and mix this and make sure it's all nicely mixed up. Then I'm just going to separate my hair and start whacking this on the roots. Basically, I'm just doing what I did yesterday. Which for you was last Thursday. Oh my goodness, time, this is so confusing. I've never been this forward planning about dying or about videos before, so hey ho. Um, I should put that Vaseline around my head, but it doesn't help that much with cleanup, in my opinion. It might help you, but it doesn't help me, because I just get covered in it, so I would need to slather the whole of my body in, in Vaseline which doesn't make for a very comfortable experience. 
Now I just gotta hope that no one knocks on the door. It's always stressful when you dye your hair, when no one else is in the house. I'm gonna stop talking so I can speed this bit up. Always useful to have a mirror on hand, except for if you need glasses, because you can't wear glasses while you dye your hair. So I find it very difficult to see the back of my head with, whilst holding a mirror. But hey, oh no, the ends of my hair have gone purple. That was not the plan, but whatever. We're just gonna roll with it. No, I'm gonna do all of my hair now. Sod it. I don't wanna have to go back through it. So I'm just mixing up some Lagoon Blue with conditioner and then I think the Apple Green I'm just gonna apply directly using my hands. We'll see. Now I'm gonna shut up so I can just speed this up. Well, that strand of hair is gonna come out some color. Try to make sure you blend it, blend the um, colors together. Because otherwise you get it stripy and we don't want that. Not that this application technique is exactly expert. I'm using, literally using the smallest amount of green on my hands. Because my hair's so thin at the ends, I don't need a lot. Which I suppose isn't a good thing that my hair is so thin, but hey. You work with what you got. If you want to bleach your hair a lot and have it funky colours, you can have thin hair. Stop talking, Hannah.
Okay, I have all the dye on my head and my face and my arms and pretty much everywhere. This is why you shouldn't dye your own hair because you literally get covered in it, but it's fun, so whatever. Um, I've tried to blend it a lot, much more than I tried to blend my last hair dye, which was the Cheshire Cat one. Um, I've lost my clip, it's here. Um, but yeah, I've tried to blend it a lot more which, you know, doesn't always work, but hey, it was worth giving it a go. I'm just trying to clip it up whilst not catching all of my hair and pulling all of my hair out. Um, and then I'm gonna stick a bag on my head, see if this one fits. Um, leave it for like two hours, what time is it now? Quarter past one, I've literally spent 45 minutes doing my hair. <laughs> Oops. I'm gonna leave this on for a couple of hours and then rinse it out, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's dry, which might be tomorrow, who knows? Yeah, someone asked if I could, um, show what I used to clean up my hair dye with. Literally, I just use makeup removal wipes. I happen to use these ones. The, in the UK, Johnson ones work really well. Um, cheap ones don't work well, shocker. And I literally just sit and scrub up my face for a while. Obviously, the better way of doing this is just to not get your hair covered, your head covered in hair dye anyway. Um, then if worst comes to worst, I whip out the nail varnish remover but usually it doesn't come to that. Usually I can cover it up with makeup and wash my face a few times and then it just comes off. But like, this is my ear. I thought this was hair and so I kept trying to tuck it under but that's literally my ear. Ears are more difficult to clean. I just tend to hide them for a while. It's a real pain but hey, you gotta suffer to be beautiful. And if suffering means covering myself in hair dye, then it's worth it. Okay, so it's the next day. I let my hair dry completely overnight. Um, well, just air dry is what I was meant to say. I let my hair completely air dry. And then I curled it this morning, um, but I haven't done a very good job of it, so that's kind of annoying, seeing as I only curl my hair just after I dye it, like once every two months. This is the only time I use a hair straightener on my hair, and for good reason. I kinda like it. What do we think? Hopefully it's not too poorly curled back there. It actually looks half decent. My hair's getting so long now, it's ridiculous. I really like the color. I wasn't sure. Um, I have a mirror just behind you, which is why I keep looking off, and then, um, but I really like it. it. My hair looks a slightly different colour in person to how it looks on camera. It's more green than it looks on camera, but I still really like it, so that's okay. What do we think? What do we think? Do we like it? Do we hate it? Please don't tell me if you hate it, because it's on my head. <laughs> um, the fade is really good, actually. I'm really impressed. I'm glad I spent so long doing it, because I was worried. But yeah, it's 100% more green in person than it's coming out on camera, which is super duper annoying. Really proud. The blue's come out a little bit patchy, but Lagoon Blue always does on my hair, and I don't know why. Just one of those things. Anyway, this video's been long enough, um, so I'm just gonna sign off. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up, wonderful stuff, and feel free to hit subscribe. I post new craft tutorials here in the corner of craft every Sunday and then I post bonus videos in the week as well. So that's two extra videos. Sometimes they're tutorials like this, but they're very rarely craft tutorials. You only get one of those a week. <sighs> they're difficult to film. <laughs> Don't forget to check out the description box below for a list of the colors that I used and also for all of my social media links, which are also down there. And yes, hope that you like this tutorial and the way that I split it up from bleaching and then dyeing. If you wanted to know how I bleach my hair, then that video was posted on last Thursday. You can tell that I'm feeling my hair, I can't stop touching it. Thank you very much once again for watching, and I shall see you very soon in my next video. Bye!